In this video, we'll take a look at SSM500. We have covered this camera before, but I want to do it again to just refresh your mind on how the XC8 works. We also have an RCP Pro and these great controllers are the focus of our attention today. The setup we have here in the studio is one that also involves a few other DreamChip cameras, which has been used in other videos. There's a DreamChip um, One Mini, the, sorry, Atom One Mini, Atom One Mini Zoom, Atom One 4K, Atom One, and the Atom One SSM500 slow motion camera. It's all pointed over here to a target that we can work with. Quickly, the setup that we'll do is this one. We'll add a camera by, by uh, basically uh, looking it up in our database, Atom One. We have the SSM500 right there. This is the one that we can control over WebSocket. It has a Ethernet jack in the back side of it. And all we need to do is to type in the IP address and it's going to connect to the camera. So that's really nice and great. You already see the XC8 is uh, set up here. Uh, it has some buffers that we can uh, change. So if we hold down, let me see the shift key here. Uh, this one, we can set how many buffers do we want. And uh, I think we want to have three buffers today. So they are now empty and starting recording happens by simply pressing one of these. So um, right now I want to set this little thing over here in motion and then just drive this car past and then we'll stop the recording again. If I wanted to start recording in a different buffer, I could just do it over here. And now it would actually record in a different buffer and we can stop that as well. And then you could take the last one and it would actually cyclically just keep recording in this one over and over and over again while we could replay this one. So you see, we now actually queued this one up. And then if I play here, you see we are replaying the uh, video from uh, this one. And now comes the replay side that I want to show you. First of all, the T-bar here can help us to actually set the speed. You see it's playing back there, which frames are shown and so on. So I can actually change the playback speed using the T-bar here. I can also play it backwards. So that's like really useful. But let's say that you are an operator that will use the in and out point functions. You can go to the in point, you can go to the out point. And when you go to the in point, you can use this one to basically find your first frame. Let's say you want to take it right there then you say this is my endpoint and then you could actually use the the shuttle here to move forward a little bit just until i poke at the thing so maybe let's say okay up right there thank you then we'll just set the out point so now we have an endpoint we have an out point we can uh, reset those marks we'll not do that but we can actually test these all right and then we could basically say okay let's go so we'll then start replaying this one and we can use the t-bar to increase the speed for this one now it's going to replay over and over and over again and that is something you change by basically picking your mode right there so now the stop mode would be black and it means that maybe i just need to stop this again so let's see if the stop mode should ah it's not i don't know play mode oh play mode is loop all right that's the point so it will play it back like once so let's just do that. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Actually, I forgot to put labels on these. Uh, my bad. But um, basically, let's let's play this one back, and then we'll see it is going to stop. All right. So the stop mode is black instead of color bars. Ah, oh, it's because I need to press the stop button, the actual stop button, um, and that's why it's now going to black, and now it's going to color bars, and now it's going to live. So live picture. There we go. All right, so that all makes sense. Now, actually, we have a different buffer. It's 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 recording all the time, so I could stop that one. And um, and actually, if I played this buffer back, then it is likely that you see some of the uh, thing I just did with my hand a moment ago. If we just uh, fast forward here into the buffer, there we go. I, and I could also make a clip out of that one, mark an in point, go here, mark an out point, and now we have in, we have out, we have in, and we have out. We can take another buffer here which is uh, has also been recording. We did that in the, sort of the beginning of the whole thing. We were still doing, a I, I was actually moving the car backwards here. So let's just say that I want to take it from that point in, and then I'm just forward, forward to that point, out, in, out, in, out. All right, uh, once again, is that the play button? <laughs> I can't remember, it's, it's really embarrassing. I, I forgot to put labels on these buttons anyway. Uh, let's just play back this buffer and there you, there you go. Um, go back to the um, play it once. Um, oh, looping the playback. So I'm now doing that. All right. 
So, uh, yeah, sorry for the slight confusion, not putting labels on the keys. I should have done that. So I knew which one was pause and play and such things. But um, the XC8 is, uh, is really great for managing playback of the SSM500 camera. And it's so easy to connect because they put this wonderful Ethernet jack on the backside. Thank you so much, Streamchip, for doing that. So, um, yeah, um, the one thing that I did not cover, I should maybe just mention, is that if you want RCP control as well, that would be really easy to add into the mix by using the RCP here. So right now it's like unconnected, but you can quickly add it into the mix as well by simply um, selecting it here from the network because it pops up there and then we'll just add the camera and boom, now we have RCP control. We can even have lens control if we pick the lens profile down here and you can see that we have lens control from the RCP. So that's wonderful. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, follow us online. I have many more videos coming out for you about interesting technology from Skyhoy and all our partners.